Is artificial intelligence just another hyped up bubble like with crypto in 2021? As an investor, should you avoid all the hype we're seeing in this space? And is there anything of value that AI actually provides? There's a lot of really important and interesting developments taking place in this space that in my opinion is certainly creating an investment opportunity, but you have to make sure you're looking in the right direction. And that is exactly what I wanna discuss in this video. But as usual, guys, before we get into it, make sure to drop me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, to start things off, let's listen to what Kathy Wood has just said. I may not agree with a lot of the points she makes, but she is known to be a very good spotter of innovation in its very early stages. And the reason I bring her up is because she's recently coined this new term saying that AI revenue opportunities are actually being completely mispriced by investors, even with all the hype we've seen in equity valuations over the past few months. And I tend to agree with her on this point. AI is such a big buzzword that many people don't actually understand how the technology works. What are the benefits it provides? How does a business model on artificial intelligence actually work? As you can clearly see by the adoption rate of something like ChatGPT, the business model that AI is going to run on is going to be drastically different than what we've seen play out over the past 10 years, whether that be with social media, Spotify, Telegram, or even Uber and Google Translate. ChatGPT is creating more waves in this industry than we have ever seen before. And in my personal opinion, this is starting to set a foreshadow for what overall AI adoption will look like over the next few decades. And the reason why this AI fueled stock rally, in my personal opinion, is not a hype bubble is because companies are actually seeing benefits of using machine learning in their businesses and companies that sell them that machine learning service are actually making money. Unlike in the tech bubble of the 1990s and even some of the crypto mania we've seen over the past few years, a lot of these companies in the AI space are actually revenue generating and are approaching break even profitability. Yes, there's going to be some small cap names like Big Bear or BuzzFeed that are going to go crazy because of the hype and the idea that they're associated with AI. That's not what our investment thesis really focuses on. What we want to focus on is investing in companies that are startups and innovating in a new business segment within the overall AI umbrella, whether that be machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, or regenerative translation. This is where the opportunity is going to truly lie, not in partnerships with other businesses, not in contracts or other joint agreements. It's going to be in business models that are purely bred on AI. And why exactly do I say that? Well, because in 2022, a survey conducted in the top 40 companies in the US revealed the fact that most companies over 90% are indeed investing in AI driven research. As you can see, they said that in 2022, 92.1 organizations of all the 500 companies they surveyed reported that they are realizing measurable business benefits from their AI activities. That is up from 48% in 2017 and 70% in 2020. On top of that, 77% of all companies asked had a role of CDO or a chief data officer or an analytics officer. And this is all about processing the large amounts of data that these companies hold. They can actually create real value from all the data that they would have otherwise had to dispose of, all while not needing to hire hundreds of people to do so. ChatGPT is just one example of how AI can help the average consumer. But the real opportunity as investors and even consumers is going to be in the corporate and enterprise sector where companies need AI to optimize their processes, save them money, reduce overhead resources, and at the end of the day, generate more profits. It's pretty clear that AI is not vaporware. This is real technological advancements that are benefiting some of the biggest and most profitable companies in the entire world. We're now on the breakthrough of a competition between names like Microsoft and Google on who can dominate the search war market. Who can create the next natural language processing beast to compete with ChatGPT, which by the way, is just a pilot program. ChatGPT, just like some of the other projects that OpenAI is working on, like DALI, is just a testbed. 
there is no profit or revenue being generated by the technology that ChatGPT is offering. As a result, it's really not that hard to understand the opportunity that lies within this space if you can monetize the benefit and the value proposition that this AI technology provides, especially on the enterprise side. As for understanding how you can take advantage of this opportunity, Microsoft and Google are obviously great picks because they're established Fortune 500 large cap companies with great teams, great engineers that can make scalable and potentially even profitable products with machine learning. But for me personally, I'm looking to increase my risk appetite in a sector that I do have quite a lot of confidence in. And that's why I am actually going the route of picking startups in this space, whether that be through private equity or the public markets. My pick in the public markets right now is a company by the name of C3 AI. I've been an investor in this company for the past year, and although it's been a very difficult time with rising interest rates and the lack of appetite for high risk assets, it seems like the market is trying to realize the opportunity brewing in the overall AI space. C3 AI is a company that offers enterprise AI software to any company in the US that has a demand for optimization of their resources. This allows any company, whether that be in the manufacturing, oil and gas, financial services sector, to integrate AI into their optimization strategy without having to hire a team of engineers to develop it from the ground up, offer all the upfront capital to build the infrastructure or deal with the consequences of potential failure. Particularly companies in the defense space can use the package that C3 AI is offering to reduce their operating expenses, forecast failures in equipment, and potentially gain the trajectories for modeling hypersonic missiles. There's a lot of advanced applications where humans simply can't forecast at a very accurate level. We saw that play out throughout 2020 with the supply chain situation evolving so fast. With all the demand data for sales, revenue, gross margins, and warehouse inventory coming in, most companies ended up failing on their task for optimizing their costs and driving up profits. That's what led to interest rate hikes affecting so many companies, and that's where one of C3AI's tools for optimizing demand forecasts can really play into play. Simultaneously, C3AI's tools can be applied for process optimization in renewable energy initiatives. Co-generation with a steam or coal plant versus renewable energy has been one of the most difficult processes for traditional oil and gas companies to master. This can allow them to reduce downtime for renewable resources and maximize their ROI for both, allowing them to reduce their carbon emissions without again having to hire the team to make their own AI software in-house. And unlike what a true speculative bubble would entail, C3AI actually has real revenue and real revenue growth on a year-over-year -year basis. They pull in around $200 to $300 million of revenue on an annual basis, and that is growing at a very healthy compound annual growth rate of around 15 to 20%. Unlike other high bubbles like we saw with SPACs in 2020 and 2021 and the tech bubble in the late 1990s, this company has been in the business for almost one decade and they are growing revenues in a space that is often extremely complex for competitors to enter. And yes, even though right now they have great gross margins of almost 70%, they're not profitable, meaning their operating margins and profit margins are negative. And this is exactly where the opportunity lies. This is a startup company, meaning their margins are definitely going to be in the negative. It's all going to be about scale that will eventually allow them to reduce their operating expenses and drive profits for investors. Obviously, this is not financial advice. This is just what I am personally doing for full transparency to take advantage of the AI revolution. Unlike what many people think, I don't think this is a bubble. I think in the long term, this is going to play out quite well if you pick the right businesses. But obviously, in the short term, anything can happen. And the current buzz we're seeing around AI stocks and investments will probably fade over over the next few months, and we might see prices come back down. Right now, AI is dwarfing every other major category of investments from institutional traders at around 14% compared to crypto and blockchain at only 12%. 
This goes to show you the tailwinds we're seeing in the industry, especially with the big names of Microsoft and Google recently announcing their own products, which obviously is going to add more competition and more investments in a space that is obviously giving such a great value proposition to consumers. Things can obviously change and you have to pick the right businesses to really take advantage of this revolution. But I just want to assure you guys that in the long term, there are good prospects for this thesis. And in the short term, obviously, anything can happen. And so it's going to be important for you to stick to your conviction and not get caught up in all the short term stuff that might be happening. And that obviously applies to any form of investment theme you're following, not just AI. But as usual, guys, it is just my opinion on the situation. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And I thank you very much for watching.